So we're going to start off in the Microsoft Office homepage and we're going to click on Bookings over here in the top row toward the right. This is a great tool if you have products or appointments that need scheduled, say uh, you're teaching classes or if you're a hair salon or something and people want to schedule online. I don't know, I'm sure you can find a use for it. Um, start off, you get this nice clean page right here, it gives you some reports and you can have multiple calendars set up for your business. So we're going to go ahead and start fresh. Click on a little drop down there and click new. We'll call this Dunder Mifflin Paper Company because I can. Um, Mid-size paper company. And continue. So it loads, you add details about your business, staff, and services, all that good stuff. Let's see here, I have one right there. Thunder Mifflin Paper Company. You can choose a background color if it's not perfectly square, which, eh, close enough. Save. So then what you'll do is click on Booking Page and you can customize it. You can select your color theme. Um, you can do highlight colors. You can do custom colors, whatever you want to do. Let's go with that. Um, you can set it up so that it requires an Office 365 account from your organization to book. Um, you can have you can set schedules. You can set time increments, which is really nice. So, depending on what kind of time increments you need to set, you can set to 30 minutes, an hour, custom in minutes. You can set a lead time in hours. So, if you need to have at least 24 hours before uh, between when they can schedule and when they can actually have their appointment, you can set that here. They can you can allow uh, customers to s select a specific person for the booking. Um, email notifications you can set up, maximum lead time. There's a lot of good customization things that you can do in here that's very useful. Um, you can go in here and you can add staff. So right now it has added uh, the two people we have in Office 365 right now, myself and Megan. You can add other people here. Um, even if they don't have an Office 365 account, you can put someone in here. So we can say... Initial, so M, S. Call Michael Scott. You can set specific hours for them. So you can have, use the business hours, eight to five. You can set custom hours if you want. Um, again, email notifications. When you put an email in there, hit save. Enter your name and email address. Uh, so, Michael Scott at Dunder, DunderMifflin.com. Put a phone number, you can, so somebody added in here can be signed as a guest. Um, so they'll get notified that they have an appointment scheduled and you hit save. See? And now you've got other people in there as well. You can add services, and this is the big one here. So you, you can add your services. So let's call it um, paper consultation. You can add a description, um, evaluate, Paper needs, you know, whatever you want to put. You can put a location. Default duration is set to an hour, but you can set it to however long you think whatever that services will need. And let's see here. Notes, default price you can set. So you can set, a f set it to free if it's a free uh, service. You can have a fixed price. You can have starting at hourly. Contact us to if, if it's variable. Or price varies, whatever you need. And 
online scheduling. So you can set the default scheduling policy or you can uncheck this box and have a custom policy here. So different time increments, set it to an hour, minimum tide lead, time lead, lead time, excuse me. Set it to six hours instead of 24, 30 days, they can be scheduled out, email notifications, and you can pe choose people to specific person. It's great. It's, you know, there's a lot of flexibility in here. So you can adjust it to fit your business's needs. Here's where you can set the business information. So if you want everyone to have the same availability, for the business hours, you can set your business hours right here. You can put your business information, um, obviously upload your logo, your currency, all that good stuff. So then we hit save, go back to booking page, save and publish. So now you've got this page published, published, it's live. You can then copy and paste this link and put it on your website. Um, and here you go. So you have an initial consult of one hour, paper, con paper consultation of an hour. Um, when somebody comes to your page, they'll click that. They can select, they can choose to select whatever staff is available or just leave it to anyone and your, your whatever your internal processes are, will assign it out. They can select the time that they want to have it, and the date. So let's say April 10th at noon with Michael Scott. You can add details in here, name, phone number, email, uh, address, any notes, and you hit book. <sighs> there we go. Or date and time. Oh, there we go. Got to click the actual date and time. So, and hit book. And it processes. Get confirmation email gets sent, and you're good to go. You can reschedule it, you can cancel it. That's the sound of me getting the confirmation email. And that's it for booking. Like I said, a very useful powerful tool easy to use i know for us um i've used a bunch of a bunch of um a bunch of plugins for wordpress to try and set up bookings and stuff and some of them are okay but this one obviously built into office 365 it puts the appointments right in the calendar of whoever whatever staff member is selected which is a huge help you get the notification emails, and it's all done right here. And there's all the cancellation notifications. Anyways, uh, let me know what you think. Have you got anybody out there using Booking? Have you tried it? Did you like it? Didn't you like it? Let me know what you, can, what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next time.